man, Sean Porter, man, I don't know what this dude problem is, man. I don't know what he got against old boy Errol Spence, man. Like, you got to understand something, Sean. Man, you lost that fight. It was a classic fight, close fight. But you lost, man. Plain, plain as day, you lost the fight. You got dropped. You know, I mean, you, that's what it was, man. You lost. I don't care how you feel about, I, you know, it doesn't matter, man, how you feel about a certain fighter. You might have a personal, you know, problem with this dude. You got to give this guy props. You know, you have some type of jealousy towards Errol Spence, man. Like, it's, it's something there. I mean, I know that, you know, out of all the fighters you ever fought, it seems as though with Errol, you trained the hardest. You were so focused, you know, at beating this dude, at becoming a world champion, defeat, being the first guy that could defeat Errol Spence. And you came damn close. You was the closest, but you still got your ass whooped. You still lost. You still lost, brother. And, you know, in my opinion, Errol Spence could have beat you a lot easier than he did, which was crazy on his part. I mean, he chose to fight your style. If he would have just, I mean, he could have outboxed you. Now, granted, you know, you do have a style to where, hey, you know, sometimes you just make the fighter fight your style. But he beat you. He beat you at your own game. You know, props to you, man. You was a good fighter. And another thing, don't ever in your life wear no fucking Marvin Hagler war trunks. Ever. That was disrespectful, brother. And you end up on the ground. Man, sit down somewhere, Sean Porter. You know, you a good dude. Yeah, in a way. I'm not the, you know, I'm not really sold on, oh, he's just, man, he's such a nice guy. Man, this dude was jealous of Keith Thurman. You know, he was it, it pretty much almost the same as Errol. I mean, he was all, he was on Thurman ass about that rematch, man. Yeah, you, you won. I mean, uh, you, you lost close fights. But you lost both of those fights fair and square. Bud, just put your ass away. Daddy stopped that fight. You ain't got nothing bad to say about Bud. That's your boy. That, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, you ain't mad at that one. But he put your he put your ass in retirement. You know, I get it, man. Like you try to get the views because you know that don't even sound right by you even saying it like that. But you know, I get it, man. Like you here to you know you gotta get your views on your podcast and. I like the podcast, but come on, man. Some of this shit is just ridiculous, man. You got to give Errol Spence his props. You just do. Just like you, you know, hey, you, you know, it took you a while, you know, to give Keith Thurman his props. But give Keith Thurman his props. He whooped your ass, too. Close fight you had with, with Danny Garcia. Could have went either way. You were fortunate to get that. You lost, in my opinion, to Ugas. You lost. So maybe, I mean, I can understand why, you know, you're giving Ugas, you know, props. I don't, don't get me wrong. I like, I'm an Ugas fan too. I like Ugas, man. I like Ugas a lot. Good dude. Hell of a fighter. But come on, man. My thing is, like, what is, what is the, what the hell is it that you have against Errol Spence? You know, you just always have a lot of negative things to say about the brother. Like, you know, like, Errol ain't thinking about you, man. He ain't worried about you. He ain't worried about you. You know, I, I'm, I'm never going to take a guy that wears war trunks from rest in peace. God rest Marvin Hagler's soul. I am never going to take you serious again after that shit. I'm just being real. Ever. <laughs> ever again. Don't ever portray yourself. As good as Marvin Hagler, brother. Fuck no. You know, I mean, that's it, just, come on, man. That's ridiculous, bro. That's ridiculous. Like, I don't know what's your problem with Arrow, but it's like, come on, man. 
And I ain't defending the girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know, I mean, if, if my thing is this. If you feel that, that's your opinion. But the thing is just, you know, I don't know, man. It's like ever since you lost to Earl Spence, you know, you've been, you was kind of like, I mean, he was the same with, with, uh, but he did, at least he did give Thurman more props. Like, you know, hey, he was the hardest person that ever punched me and that ever hit me and stuff like that. But he still was like, he was broken. He, he, he really, he did not like Thurman, you know, just, I mean, like, bro, you lost. Thurman whooped your ass and Earl beat you. He whooped you too. It was a close fight. Both fights was close. You know, your animosity towards Spitz, man, it's, it's funny as hell, man. Like, it's hilarious to me, man. I'm just like, what is this dude problem with Errol Spence? Like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, brother, you lost. And, you know, you, you were good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I mean, you were good, but you just wasn't good enough. You know? You're not better than Keith Thurman. You're not better than Errol Spence. You're not better than Terrence Crawford. You're not better than either one, none of these guys. And like I said before, I felt, you know, Ugas did enough to beat you in that fight. Doesn't mean I still don't like Sean Porter, guys. I still like Sean Porter. You know, he's a hell of a, he's entertaining as hell, hell of a fighter. You know, fun to watch. You know what he bringing, you know. But it's just hilarious, man. Like, Sean, come on, man. We know you're doing this shit for views, man. What do you guys think about Sean Porter? You know, saying what he's saying today, man. Like, <laughs> peace out, guys.